Hello and welcome to episode 253 of the Heart of Markness Led Zeppelin podcast. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good day, good night. I'm Mark. This is a Led Zeppelin podcast. If this is your first time, every week, every Sunday, used to be Thursday, now it's Sunday, I put out a podcast featuring a concert, usually by Led Zeppelin, and if not by Led Zeppelin, then it is by one of their side projects or solo projects. So every Sunday you're going to get a Led Zeppelin, The Firm, uh, Robert Plant, Honey Drippers, Priory O'Brien, Them Crooked Vultures, Outrider Tour, Jonesy, 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 all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and if that's your jam, then welcome. You Hopefully you found a new, uh, new place to visit and roam and frolic. Are you frolicking? God damn it, you better frolic. And what we have today is March 11th, 1970. Second night in Hamburg, Germany, or West Germany at that time. And Hamburg at that time was a little bit of a naughty town. It was a red light town. That's where the Beatles back in 1960 went and played, where they played a zillion shows a night for hours and hours and hours and got their chops and became a solid band. And it was naughty over by the Reeperbahn. There's uh, red light districts, strip clubs, all that kind of fun stuff that you expect in those kind of places. There you go. All right. Well, this is a pretty good recording. It's a nice, clear audience recording. Uh, if this is actually, there's only one source known for this, of which I'm aware, and it is the Led Zeppelin Digital Volume 5, which it came out, Jesus, almost 25 years ago. I remember the Led Zeppelin Digital being around uh, the turn of the millennia, millennium, and uh, this is one of those great recordings that came from that. It's a standard 1970 set list. It is, uh, here it is. There's two discs. And you'll be able to get this at heartofmarkness.com in its entirety, not just the songs that I play for you today, but the whole recording for free, because it was given to me for free, and it was distributed by the Led Zeppelin Digital Project, or FBO for Badge Holders Only Mailing List, which is still going strong more than 20 years later. So here's what you're going to get. You're going to get We're Gonna Groove, I Can't Quit You Baby, Dazed and Confused, Heartbreaker, White Summer, Black Mountainside, a proto Since I've Been Loving You, an embryonic Since I've Been Loving You, the organ solo leading into Thank You, always a winner, Moby Dick, How Many More Times and How Many More Times features in its medley The Hunter, Boogie, Truckin' Little Mama, Rambling Down by the Riverside, Long Distance Call Blues, and The Lemon Song. And then lastly, we have a cut version of Whole Lot of Love. Looks like the taper ran out of tape. Pretty good, right? Go there. Get it. It's there now. You think I'm lying? Go there now. Go. The hell's wrong with you? Go. And get it for free. Tra-la-la. Well, tra-la-la indeed. This is... Led Zeppelin, this is them. If you have the Led Zeppelin DVD and you have the Royal Albert Hall concert, this is that tour. This is that time. Same essential set list, same essential band as they're kind of uh, oozing their way through the tube of fame <laughs> towards superstardom, which would kind of hit next year and then be finalized in 72 and then for the rest of the decade they are the biggest band in the world pretty dope huh well then let's jump in and listen to why they were the biggest band in the world and let's listen to mr james patrick page 80 years young today 26 years young in this recording playing heartbreaker enjoy friends march 11th 1970 
I love his 1970 tone. I love his tone basically throughout 70, 71, 72, and 73. 75 is iffy. 77, I don't like his tone all that much most of the time. 79 and 80, the less talked about tone wise, the better. Just my opinion, your mileage may vary. Tra la la. That's pretty good. I did, um, <clears throat> this is a pretty quiet recording, and I did boost the uh, amplitude a bit. There's not clipping added to it. Any distortion you're hearing is, is in the in the bass range, is in the recording natively. It's there. I didn't introduce it by raising the amplitude. I just made the uh, <clears throat> track louder because it's pretty, pretty quiet, and it would be a weird juxtaposition to have me and my dulcet tones be ridiculously louder than Led fucking Zeppelin. All right, speaking of Led Zeppelin, let's go to the next one. Which one is it, Mark? Do you remember? I don't. Oh, it's Sibley. Let's listen to Since I've Been Loving You, the early versions as they're working it out. This may not be the complete, tight, beautiful since I've been loving you that you're used to. There may be some things that are missing. It may be more skeletal, but it's still pretty great, and it's still a great vehicle for these great kids playing this great music. Let's listen to Since I've Been Loving You in Hamburg, West Germany. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy Frendos, March 11th. This is uh, first track we've uh, got together. Well, it's three. Well, I don't know. Uh, this is called Since I've Been Loving You. No, it is. <laughs> Since I've Been Loving You. As it gets to me. <laughs>
That was lovely. That was pretty much together. It's neat. It's neat that they're still ironing it out that it hasn't been recorded yet, or it hasn't been released yet, if it had been recorded. That's fascinating. Dude, I love this band. And of course, the tone and the interplay and Bonzo and Jonesy and Jimmy and Robert and everybody's synergy. That's why they're such a big band. It's just that it's 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 not just the virtuosity. It is the the everybody locked in to everybody else and listening to what they're doing and responding and reacting to what's happening. You know, when Bonzo here's Jimmy ramping up, so Bonzo ramps up and Jonesy it's 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 a master class in tightness. And pocket a lot of the time. So, yay. Speaking of pocket, I have two of them on my pants. Nothing in the back, is there? Oh, I lied. No, I have four of them. And you can find this podcast. It's time for the spiel. You can find me anywhere you find podcasts, which you know because you found this podcast, um, including Spotify. I'm on YouTube as well. With the YouTube channel, the YouTube channel is a couple episodes behind, just because it is, and um, the June 22nd, 1977 episode from, I think, three episodes ago, or maybe two episodes ago, um, three, I believe. The source that I used, it was presented as a dad, Dadgad remaster, but it was not. It's the better source, so it sounds better. But it is not the remastered source, so I have to recut that and re-release that. And when that is done, I will put that on YouTube. So yes, you can find me on YouTube, etc. The aforementioned heartofmarkness.com, which is just a real simple uh, WordPress blog where you find all of these shows that I cover for you. Almost everything is up there. Week by week, I throw up the podcast. I throw up a link for the show. And um, you can go get the one. You can get this right now. Go to hardermarkness.com or any of the other um, more than 300 shows total because uh, I used to do a bonus episode back during the pandemic when everybody, including myself, was at home. I would do bonus episodes of other artists and their concerts. And every once in a while I do that too, but times have been tough and time, time has been short lately. It's a lot going on. Um, Speaking of which, um, those of you who have been following the uh, saga of my sweet daughter and her uh, struggle with her eating disorder, she has been placed on the waiting list to the treatment center. Thank you, friends, for coming through and helping me come up with that deductible. Bless you all. So, so anywhere between two and four weeks, which will be okay, which will be okay. Um, she will be there or sooner if possible. And it's an inpatient thing. She's going to stay there for one to three months. Inpatient treatment, get her body fixed up, get her digestion back, retrain her brain to perceive and process hunger signals as hunger signals and not as anxiety or it's, it's a wild it's a wild ride, friends, and it's fucking heartbreaking to see my poor daughter suffering. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, everybody that helped with the GoFundMe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There is still, uh, the GoFundMe says 4000 out of $5,000, and it, that's true, but the rest of it I came up with on my own. Um, just, you know, I got paid, and I took some money out of things that needed a little time to take money out of. That cost a lot, but take a big hit, but I needed to. So I did, and she's in, and she'll be there, and she'll be getting better, and thank you guys. I love you all, and I will never stop being grateful. I'll be less freaking out once she's actually in and getting treatment, but the fact that she's registered and on the wait list is a huge load off my mind, and I owe it to you, dear listeners, and thank you all. Especially, here we go, the titans upon whose shoulders rest this humble yet mighty podcast. I am, of course, talking about the patrons. And a laurel and hearty handshake go out to Keith and Tilda, Brian, Steve, George, Big Ed. Thank you, Big Ed. Ken, Kenny, sorry. 
Oh, I don't know why I messed that up. Kenny, sorry, man. John from West Footscray. Picard. Thank you, Picard. Rob from Melbourne, Australia. Wayne. Thank you, Wayne. Brad, Dan, Yell, Tracy. Thank you, David. Supreme, Tracy. And Supreme, David. And Bonzo, Billy, and Mimo. Thank you, every. Buddy, I tried to mix up my read and I fubbed it all up. Thank you, everybody. You're wonderful human beings. Thank you so much. If you're interested in supporting this channel in a material sense, go to patreon.com slash heartofmarkness or when you're at heartofmarkness.com, click the Patreon button and see if there's something there for you. And uh, all right, let's move this along, shall we? We gonna play one more song and it is how many more times and how many more times, you know how a whole lot of love became the big medley song around this time. How many more times was their original big medley song? And this is kind of a period where they're doing both. They're doing how many more times and they're doing a whole lot of love. I'm not going to play both because a whole lot of love is cut off, but I'm going to play this sweet. How many more times, dude? It's awesome. And it's not far away from the uh, ba, 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 Montreux Jazz Festival. I think it's four days after that, which is one of my favorite How Many More Times, the one where they open with uh, Suzy Q. Good shit, man. All right, How Many More Times, March 11th, best band in the world, Led Zeppelin. Thank you, everybody, and here we go. Good, uh... Oh, that's this is called How Many More Times. <laughs>
make it one. Keep your verses down. I don't believe in all that. One thing, one thing I want to prove to you. Because I'm going to do nothing else and no matter. I believe everybody tells the truth. Before everything else, I want you to. Yay! I'm glad I chose this show. That made me happy. Hopefully it made you happy too. That song is great. The band is fun. 
Bonzo sounding like powerhouse Bonzo. It's just amazing to hear all these amateur recordings collected, digitized, curated, remastered, speed corrected, all this stuff more than 50 years on, 54, almost 54 years on, we can listen to that because somebody brought a tape recorder to a concert. Thank goodness. Thank you all the stealth recorders and the chroniclers of our times. All right, friendos. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, if you do want to m contact me and you don't want to contact me throughout all those other things, Twitter, Facebook, etc., um, Mark at heartofmarkness.com is a good way. I will get it. I will reply. And uh, now that the chaos and horror and unpleasantness and stress of the last few months seems to have a resolution point, um, I expect to be back more active on social media and stuff. I pretty much just withdrew to deal with this family stuff and uh, my work's changed and done some stuff and nothing it, it's all turning out okay but it's been a wild few months and uh, i think i will have more spoons and more gumption to do more things with you folks like uh god well you'll see all right guys thank you very much please be good to yourselves and each other and i look forward to the next time i get to talk at you bye bye <laughs>